Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we're here back with more Gran Turismo 7 this time around for round 2 of the Nations Cup and I'm not really too sure what Polyphony were thinking this week. We're doing rally cross around Catalonia. It's just going to be a mess. I mean, we've got a mixture of A and B licensed drivers here. It's eight laps, so at least it's going to hopefully be quite short. But this, I, I don't know really quite what they had in mind today. I, I guess let's jump in with our qualifying. At the very best, then, we're going to be starting P4 here. But, yeah, I mean, this one, like I said, it's just going to be very, very unpredictable. It does seem quite good, though, the fact that it does look like most of the cars are pretty well bopped. I and mean, we've got four different cars inside the top four there. I was not expecting the Pikes Peak Peugeot to be as competitive as someone has proven it to be. But, yeah, we're about half a second away from pole. But, I mean, it's rally cross on Gran Turismo. Anything is about to happen. Right, well, I'm not quite sure how they're doing the gridding for this, but we'll wait and see as to how this goes. Make sure I... Why is it upshifting? Oh, no, I'm in, like, fifth gear. Well, I don't know why it was upshifting. Oh, no. Well, that's not giving us a helpful start in towards someone there, as that guy's going to completely send it in. And looks like the leader as well has dropped back down in the um, Peugeot. But, I mean, it's just going to be dive bombs everywhere, isn't it, early on? Cars trying to make places as early as they can there. I'm going to get booted out as just is the common theme I think for me on Gran Turismo 7 but I think early on it's just going to be about trying to avoid penalties and other cars most likely. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Uh, that guy has already therefore picked up a penalty and somehow I mean we're still in P6 early on there as we'll try and muscle the Mitsubishi out of the way. He can try and come across me as much as he likes there but yeah, a couple of guys up towards the front still having quite a scrap there. I mean, yeah, this is just going to be feisty, isn't it? Got to be really, really careful, though, that you don't pick up off tracks as yep, I'm going to immediately get sent up the inside of the Mitsubishi through the final corner and then muscle towards the wall on the exit there. But after lap one, we've only lost the one place there. So again, I'm going to get barged absolutely in through the first corner. I mean, people are just kind of taking the penalties as an inevitable, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, now we're going to start obviously seeing some of those penalties get served. Um, we'll sneak up the inside there, apparently. There's, I mean, yeah, it's just always going to be a very, very much sort of a grudge match here on Gran Turismo. As can we get to the inside of the Mitsubishi? No, we're going to get again pushed out wide there. I think you've just kind of got to give it as good as you get in a race like this. As Mitsubishi there is going to get rammed out by the NSX. Oi. Come on, nice and easy through the final couple of turns. I, like I said though, I am quite surprised with just how evenly bopped a lot of the cars were. I kind of just expected it to be a one make sort of event there, as again, the NSX is going to get barged out. We're going to try and get to the inside of the Mitsubishi once more. They're side by side over the jump, use them to push myself into the next corner. And that has worked out rather well that time. So, oh no, I don't want third gear on the exit of the corner though. It is really weird of course. Most of my rally cross driving experience uh, came from Dirt 4 back when I did the World Championship in that. So I kind of try and still drive every rally cross car since then a bit like those. It really doesn't work on any other game pretty much unfortunately. I've sort of learned that fourth gear was always my friend or third and fourth gear. Uh, Gran Turismo it really does feel like it's a lot more about trying to get the turbo spooled. Somehow that's the fastest lap I've ever done in this car track combo there so i'm not sure how i've done that it must have just been using the mitsubishi to get myself tipped through here but a 45 2 i wish i'd run that in qualifying as we head our way through the hairpin we've got more battles going on as we will get past another car there but just trying to put the power down 
as best as possible. Am I about to get sent into the next corner? No, actually. That's quite clean and tidy there. As I mean, like I said, it was always going to be quite a short race, but already halfway through then. Let's see if we can try and get ourselves on the podium today. So I'll just give him, you know, a little tag through the final couple of quarters. A 44-5? Where was that in qualifying? This is... I mean, very, very aggressive by everyone, but like I said, you were kind of just getting it dished out, so you kind of got to give it back as well. It's kind of very high over the jump that time round, but apparently we've kind of found our groove a little bit later than I was expecting to. Was, yeah, it's really weird as well. Sometimes how you want to drift around some of the corners, but other times you absolutely don't. Um, so it's just about trying to learn which corners and how much angle you really want to attack with. Um, and then, of course, other times it's just trying to keep the car in a straight line there. That corner as well is horrible for track limits. Thanks for that. He's almost span himself out in the process. But, yeah, that one corner is ridiculous for track limits there. So I think he's going to be myself versus the Peugeot towards the end. He's going to barge me out, so I'll do the same back to him. And this could get quite spicy, I reckon. We'll give him the inside there because he's going to completely throw himself through the next corner, and then try and get on the throttle so he can't dive you. Ah! You just see the arrow, yep, there's the push. I mean, I, I kind of understand that Gran Turismo wanted to try some different stuff, um, you know, where this isn't a proper sort of world championship or anything like this, but you, you have got a kind of question which person at Polyphony signed off on. Yeah, let's, let's make them do rally cross against each other, because it was never, ever going to be a clean, tidy affair, was it? It was always just about just trying to use the physics to your advantage in this game, but apparently yeah, I found found my new rival in this race late on in the day. I would still like a podium if possible. As you can see, another mistake there from the Peugeot. So he's all over the road. Oi. Trying to get to the inside. Thank you. Why not, eh? <laughs> a lap and a half to go then. This one is probably going to come down to the wire between myself and the Peugeot. We'll wait and see if we can try and hang on, or whether I'm going to get absolutely sent in through one of these final corners. I'm, I'm expecting contact into here. I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I'm expecting to get absolutely shadow around. Nope, we've managed... I, I did hide inside the wall there. 44-0! Why couldn't I have ran these sorts of times in qualifying or in any of my free practice? Like, that's seriously a second and a half faster than I've got at any other point. I don't get where I'm suddenly finding the time, but... I guess it's better now than never. Is are we going to get sent again? No, again, we'll just sneak around the next corner before he can quite get to me there. And I'm, I'm expecting a big kick up the rear in through the final couple of corners of this race. But we'll wait and see as we are building up a bit of a gap now. Perhaps we've actually got some safety. As in through the final couple of corners then, we might recover to a podium when all is said and done. Am I about to get absolutely rammed? No, I'm not. We're going to make it through and we're going to survive. On Gran Turismo 7 there, this rally cross race. I mean, we were actually very, very quick apparently there, but it was two Subarus that ended up at the top there. We, we bring them a podium for our Hyundai there and then at the Peugeot just behind us. So, yeah, we made progress as well despite the bad start early on in that one. 20 seconds covering everyone, but only a six-minute race. I do apologise uh, that this one has been quite a quick video here today from GT7 but thank you all so much for watching nonetheless if you have enjoyed please do make sure you leave a like get yourself subscribed and no, I guess we'll return very very soon with more Gran Turismo content